Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus again, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. I'm here at this moment in time because I've had thoughts and am having them relative to the situation of our lives every day. And it bothers me. It bothers me because I understand that we have been misled. We are following a path of deception that's leading us to a place we don't want to go. And yet I think about uh, oftentimes I see people who uh, profess themselves as atheists, people who don't believe in God. And I understand and appreciate what they mean. They are actually saying they have no real evidence of God. And those who claim to have it or profess it does not represent or reflect anything of that which they claim. So for those who don't have a belief in a God like that, it's any possibility for that to change is nullified by the action of those who profess to be what they really aren't. And so I understand what the atheists are about. Now, me, myself, I don't know if I would have been an atheist, but I tell you what, I wouldn't believe in a God that reflected itself as I used to. And the reason that Things changed is because something changed for me. It did, perhaps didn't change for others. It changed as a miracle. And as I said, perhaps didn't change for others. So there's something in the back of my mind that says to whom much is given, much is required. So if it was given to me to have my eyes open, then I have a responsibility to help lead those in the darkness. And those who are in the darkness are those who are following the dictates of men who have no idea about anything outside of their own power. And I say to people who want to claim that power and say that themselves, uh, that there is a God, but act as if there is no God, except maybe that God has given them the uh, authority to walk in those shoes by making perhaps them superior to others. And they, even at that time, the ones, or should I say many of them, still say that humankind or the earth is a result of a big bang. This is justifying, ladies and gentlemen, perhaps, why we treat human beings, how we treat one another, the, the way we do. If if there is no God, and there's a big bang that beep, made all this happen, or at least part of it, and then from a rock, or some uh, tadpole in some water someplace, man evolved uh, through a monkey or some ape, anything to deny a, a God. They'll accept this, but a God, no, no, that's a very difficult thing to accept. And I'm talking about, I'm not talking about the atheists now. I'm talking about the people who say that they believe in a God, but act as if there is no God. You know, I, if you really give this some thought, think about artificial intelligence. If somebody told you that some metal or some whatever they are made of was scattered about and all of a sudden one day it, boop, it popped up doing what the finished product does or going through stages, you know it didn't happen. It is the result of action. It is the result of thinking. It is the result of planning. Now, humankind, is it any less dynamic than AI? I mean, it is humankind who put the AI together. And we know that was a process, which should tell us all that there's a process in our being, in our being. And when you really can get down to considering it that close, that deeply, that involved, then you would recognize if you really got down to it, what is it that we as human beings want everywhere, all over the earth, we as individuals, what is it that we want? We want to be satisfied. Now that satisfaction might come in many different ways, but it still says we want to be satisfied. Now, some of the things that's required in being satisfied means that we have our needs. 
met, our wants met, and our desires, I mean, we're really moving on up the ladder now, met. That basically means that the things that are required for survival, they're met, they're there. So we suffer for nothing in the satisfaction process, food, clothing, shelter, education, health care, transportation, infrastructure, vacation, all of the things that exist that we as individuals might want to engage in. Being able to engage in it is part of our satisfaction. So this is happening amongst us all. And out of that, I'm, if you're listening to me real good, these needs, these wants, these desires being met, if we are able and when we exercise, then we live in peace. We're all prosperous. We are free. We are joyous and we're happy. And our dreams now are being lived. Now, that's absolutely fantastic, but I know many of you were saying, how in the world can that happen? You probably have no idea how that can happen. Well, see, that's basically because you don't believe in that God that I've been telling you about. You don't know that God, so you can't see that. But one who can have the evidence to be able to explain that to you, you might not even be able to see it as it explained to you, but it's there. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. As this earth was created by the power that we cannot see, that involves the rivers, the seas, the valleys, the trees, everything, and everything that would be used by humankind, and perhaps others, I don't know about that, but right now I'm referring to humankind, has been stopped on the earth. Everything that humankind has ever done it was by using the resources that have been stocked on the earth. No man didn't make them. It was stocked on the earth. Prepared there. So when mankind evolved to that point in life that they want to move them horse and buggies and move into jet planes, the materials are there. That was prepared for. Now, so all of us coming into this earth, billions of us coming and going, life everlasting, we come and we go. We keep coming, we keep going. Many of us want to just keep on living, but it ain't happening that way. We die and others keep coming. We die and others keep coming, everlasting life. And as that happens, new ideas come and we utilize the resources to do the things that we do. And as we do that, each of us have now have been blessed with a desire, something that we can engage ourselves in. We come here, we got the, I've, heard, I've said the expression, you've heard it before, we, you got to work to eat. So everybody is blessed because now they have been given a career, given a desire for a career that gives them their greatest joy. That's purpose of living, joyous living. Joyous living and then what you're doing is interconnected by the power that you can't see in such a way that those things that help create heaven You know what I'm talking about is being done just by you enjoying life And this my friends is how the people come together Working together for a common cause that each of them are satisfied in this life and walking the proper path listening to the Right wisdom create heaven on earth. And this is what I challenge the world with. This is what I challenge America with. You see, all the thing was all set up. The earth, the resources, you, the needs, the ability the, to get engaged, to engage and create, cause manifestation of everything. Hey, hey, let's see how smooth that was. So, my friends, humans, listen up. We're going to have to change if we want to survive. We are going to have to change. 
because we're doing it backwards. We're doing it wrong. And as long as you are alive, you can change. But the thing gets worse and worse as we go down the road. So it's easier to change today than what it will be tomorrow. See, by us as a people of this country, our failure to change has brought us to the status where we got a Donald Trump, which is a continuation of the nations of the world where you got people like a Putin or you got people like re the rest of them. You know what I'm talking about because we have didn't know any better. We just didn't know any better. So that means that maybe nobody knew. Well, we'll talk about that later. I want to thank you so very much for giving me this your time. Eddie Marcus saying goodbye for now.